Ah. It's just me and the Deuce tonight, Saturday night, downtown Vancouver. <laughs> I'm just hanging with Deuce, you know, he's a fucking tight producer, man. He tells me what CDs got the tight shit, you know? I'll buy that shit, you know? Let's go right on. Right now we're going to Noise Records, yo. Let's make fun of the cops. We're going to Noise Records, yo. What's up? We're in Noise Records right now. Got my homeboy here. And, uh, you know, we already bought some CDs. This is the freshest place. It used to be the freshest place anyways, you know. Um, we used to come down here a few, like, years ago. We bought CDs. We bought 10, 20 CDs. Most of them are, like, uh, import CDs, right? And they're, like, 20, 24 bucks each, but it was tight. Like, you, they got CDs here that you have to go down to L.A. to get, right? But they got here at Noise Records Vancouver. They don't have that anymore, right? Now this is the rap section. This big? This is the rap section. <laughs> it used to be like this. Yeah, it used to be this whole thing. Practically half of this whole board was rap. But now it's just like that. But you know, we still come here and uh, you know, we, we support Noise Records because they were so good to us in the past, you know what I mean? And uh, the owner here, the guy who works here, is a smart guy, you know. Uh, we sometimes we come here for some advice when it comes to women, women it comes to nightclubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to go to the nightclub, Deuce Man? Plaza nightclub? Why not? Yeah. Well, he won't be underage. No? Be you can't get in with that fake ID? I don't know. He might let women in, but huh? I don't know. This is a homie from Noise, man. This is a guy that works here, yo. How long have you been working here, man? Too long. 15 years? Uh, 20 almost now. How long have you guys been at this location? Six, almost six years. Yeah. So, before this, you were somewhere else, eh? That was a track. Yeah. Track. Right next door. You, you, you guys were called one. Track Records. That was the big place. It was huge, eh? That was the big place. What happened? Big rents. Too much, eh? Too much rent. Yeah. That's right. How long have you guys been doing like rap music? Oh, Since I guess mid -80s? we got in when it started selling it when, uh, I don't know, when did uh, NWA start up? 87, 88? Yeah, I guess it's early 80s. That's when you guys started selling it, eh? Yeah, I guess like, yeah. <laughs> so it was all on tape yeah. in the beginning, right? Did you guys get lots of underground people like us? Yep. Many, many, many. Like we've been uh, hitting you up for the past three years, right? But there must have been guys in the late 80s like us, like oh, yeah. our ages and everything. There were guys. Yeah. They rap too? or Sometimes they rapped in the store. Yeah. That's right. Who have some of your biggest customers been for rap music? Customers? Yeah. I don't know them by name. Huh? We used to sell like... Thug one, thug two. <laughs> So uh, Ice Cube and stuff like that when you can only get it from the States, you know, too short. You guys got a lot of people here then, eh? Oh yeah. It used to be real popular at one time. Uh, when did they start getting uh, NWA too short here in Canada? Early 90s? I guess so, after a while yeah. they all started. That's when you lost out. your business then, eh? No, I think the internet. All the, the burning and all, all the burning, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what burn, I've been doing they lately. They burn you in the end. It's good and it's bad. It's that's good. what I've been doing lately. It's good for customers, I guess, they yeah. want to sample something without buying a whole lot. Big John in concert, <laughs> uh, I've been going to uh, soundclick.com, eh? Is that right? You can get uh, underground rap, you can get beats for free, everything for free. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's free. It's wild, Just man. Why buy it when you not only is it for free, like it's really good quality too, eh? It's, it's CD quality. I guess, well, I guess it's not quite as good as your CD, but it's not bad if you just want to... It's just it. as good, eh? Um, I like to look at the credits and all that. You have to know which way to record, right? Yeah. Uh, like I got uh, blank audio CD recorders. Mm -hmm. You just hook it up to your uh, computer speakers, and you play the music on the internet, and you, and you press record. On your auto uh, CD, you get boom and bass, everything, man. It's awesome. Hmm. 
But we still come here, right? Because you can't get every song on the internet. Like, you still gotta come here and represent, get some CDs. Yeah, once in a while we get some stuff. Huh? Huh? So what do you see for the future music? Where do you see it going? Future yeah? music. I see everything gonna be online. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why the prices are coming down. The future, there's gonna be no stores Record like company, this? Companies are getting all nervous. They're gonna yeah. wanna control the internet. There's gonna be no stores like this in the future? Well, not for CDs. No, no yeah. It's going to be all internet, eh? That's right. Stores are going to be antique yeah. stores. That's what they're going to be like. Well, in the future, the internet's going to be fast, eh? Huh? In fast. the future, the internet's going to be super fast. Like, sometimes it's slow, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Now, the, the future's going to be razor, razor fast. I mean, look at a couple of years ago, DVDs were a thing of, you know, uh, yeah. futuristic. Now you can buy a new DVD yeah. for five bucks, right? Yeah, that's true. A year from now, two years from now, you, you know, there'll be something else. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good stuff, man. Vinyl's still big. Oh yeah, vinyl's around, gonna be around for a while. Yeah. Can't burn vinyl, can you? <laughs> well, they you make machines nowadays th that you can, but they're very expensive, man. I was reading about that in Murder Dog magazine, man. Were these guys uh? Like too much money, man. Stuff, remember these guys? You can wash stuff now, man. Kid and play. <laughs> they got yeah. played. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> How about? One of their uh, the guys works for B E T I think man. The one guy with the big Afro puff. Yeah. He's like a uh, the commentator for them now. So what do we do for New Year's Eve, man? New Year's Eve. We're going out partying? Me partying? No. Not We're going to Club Sonar. We're gonna hang out with the boys huh? at uh, what's that place called? Future Shop. No, no. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Boston Pizza. Huh? That's right. Boston Pizza. Boston Pizza on New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's open till 2 in the morning, yo. Granville Street's gonna be a madhouse. Is it? Shit. Sure Because everything will be open till like 6 in the morning. Because yeah. right? they get a 2 hours extra on holidays. No way. Okay. Uh, I think so. Every holiday? Like August well, 1 I weekend? I think this year, yeah. 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 I want to be here for New Year's Eve, right? But uh, you're gonna be back in. The, they want me to be back there on the 31st. Now they want me to. Mad cow again. Yeah. So you know, who knows what's gonna happen, man? Washington, I think, isn't it? Well, they said the cow was traced back to Canada. Jesus. But when did they say that? So what's gonna happen? Two years ago, it was imported from Alberta. Huh? That's fucked, eh? Well, maybe. It's still who, only who knows one what's going to happen? It's still only one cow between well, two countries. I mean, that's. Uh, I wouldn't see what happens. I'm going to like uh, call my like working place on Tuesday and see what's going on on Wednesday because who knows what happens with the Mac car, right? Maybe if, if I'm lucky, we can get a Wednesday off, right? You never know. Well, it'll take a while for them to be sure. Yeah. And you'll be. It'll just. It's noise. Work out. Yeah. It'll all work yeah. Out. It's noise it'll records. Work out before, right? Yeah. Did you buy that here? This? Yeah. I bought this at uh, the brick oh, yeah. in medicine at 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. I like the HS because you can just take the tape out, mm -hmm. pop it into one of those things, and, and go straight into your VCR. It's pretty cool. You can be a star in your own movie. He's got a flashlight, eh, for nighttime. Also, when you're taking the pictures of that. Uh... See? So nighttime when it's dark outside, you can go like this. It's pretty neat. Saturday night at Noise Records, yo. People, you know, they're this place is just jumping, man. Right. If they're just getting ready, yo, just getting ready to hit the clubs. You know how we do? It's EM Mafia. Just getting ready. 2003, 2000 foes on the way for show.